So let's start here, right? One foot in front of the other. And fold forward. Lengthening the spine, keep the sit bones down and just roll side to side. See how the lower back feels, see how the hips feel. Nice, come back to center. Come on up and let's switch sides. And fold in here. And again, roll it out, side to side. Back to center, come on up. Let's go to shoulders, rotator cups, big circles. And then we'll switch directions. Good, one more. And then clasp hands behind the back, lift the chest, press the shoulders down, press the hands back. and release and then roll out the shoulders. Crunch in, roll forward, all the way up to the ears, back down the spine. Hands and knees for cat and cow. Back to neutral, plank, squeeze your shoulder blades together, scapular push-ups, lower, keep the elbows straight, push the floor away, lower, press the floor away, squeeze and press, squeeze and press, squeeze and press. One more time, squeeze. Bend the knees, press the downward dog, walk it out. Try not to walk the feet forward. Bend left, press the right hip back. Bend right, press the left hip back.
and then slight bend of the knees, and then shift forward, lock the knees, come to plank, lower to chaturanga, back up to plank, bend the knees slightly, downward dog. Each time you come back to dog, you're a little deeper in, shift forward, plank, lower chaturanga, plank, bend the knees, downward dog, plank, chaturanga, plank, down dog, one more time, plank, chaturanga, plank, downward dog, a little deeper, then walk it forward, halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana, lift the heels, keep the back flat and the knees slightly bent, And then all the way up to standing, drop the heels, bring the palms to prayer. Half sun salutations, inhale, arms up, exhale, bend and fold. All the way down, chin to the chest, halfway up, flat back. And fold, chin to the chest. Look up, squeeze your bum, come all the way up, open. Palms to prayer, following the breath each time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up, all the way up. Exhale to prayer. One more time, inhale up, exhale, bend and fold. Inhale, halfway up, exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up, exhale to prayer. Now let's move through the sun cell, so inhale. Bend knees, exhale, fold. Halfway up, flat back. Exhale, hands down, left foot steps back, drop the knee. Inhale to low lunge. Exhale to downward dog. Don't drag the foot, pick it up, engage the core, step back. Inhale in dog, slight bend in the knees. Exhale, left foot forward, drop the right knee. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, step forward, Arda. Exhale, fold, all the way down, Uta. Inhale, Urva, over, upward. Exhale, palms to prayer, leading with the other leg, same thing again, inhale. Bend knees, exhale, chin to chest. Halfway up, flat back. Exhale, hands down, right foot back, drop knee. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale in dog. Exhale, right foot forward, drop the left. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, step forward, Arda. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, all the way up, keeping the knees bent until you get up there. Exhale, hands behind the back. Inhale, lift, press the hands down. Exhale, bend the knees, fold. Swing the hands all the way over. Swing all the way over here. Find your stillness, find your calm, find your breath. And lift your heels, tiptoes.
Now stay on the tiptoes, release the hands, slowly sit down, swing the hands up into chair pose. Tiptoes, body upright, heels lifted, way high on your tiptoes, tuck your bum underneath. It's a different type of chair pose. It's more like a stool pose. And then all the way up, drop the heels, palms to prayer. Let's step back and turn sideways. Inhale, one leg up. Exhale, slowly step all the way back. Turn sideways, feet parallel, clasp hands. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold all the way over. Tiptoes again. So once you get over here, find your balance. Slow your breath. And then lift the heels. Now release the hands, keep the, keep the, uh, stay on your tiptoes, reach all the way forward, flat back, still on the tiptoes. Looking forward, lengthening. Now bring your palms to prayer. Keep your tiptoes, turn your heels in. Bring your body upright. It's like this modified Deviasana, this horse stance. Mabu, mabu. Tuck your bum bum slightly underneath. Still up on the tippy toes, heels as high as they'll go. And then drop heels, elbows on the knees, and relax in. Just lengthen and relax, right? So I'm pushing down with the forearms, down with the elbows, lengthening the distance between the tailbone and the crown of the head, letting my legs relax completely. Now let's just shift over to one side, turn the other heel back and just sink down into one hip, melting in here. You could rock back and forth or you could stay still, your choice. And then let's switch sides, turn the other foot out, turn that foot forward and sink into this side. Now let's switch side to side, all the way in. Stay as low as you can as you go through. If you want to add on to this, you could bring your palms in prayer, keep the body upright, sink all the way in, stay low, all the way into the other side. Good, back to the center, come on up. Turn the heels back, turn one foot out, sink down into warrior two, draw the bow, lift the heel.
Now reach back, bring the lower hand to half prayer as you drop the heel, reverse warrior two. Reaching all the way over that back leg. And I'll straighten leg, windmill the arms into the bind behind my back. Find triangle pose. Sink in, lift the head up into the arm. Keep the spine straight, don't collapse down. Release the arms, come on up, windmill into reverse triangle, lower hand, half prayer. Reach all the way back. And up, windmill the arms in front, extended side angle. Cross elbows, lift and squeeze. Straight line from the back foot to the fingertips to the crown of the head as well. Now up, other side. So one foot turns in, one foot turns out, draw the bow, lift the heel, sink it down into warrior two, sink down into Hawkeye pose. Portari Akshiasana. Then we'll drop that heel and reach back overhead, reverse warrior two, lower hand, half prayer. Find that stillness, right? that calm. Follow the breath, four counts in, four counts out. Smooth out the breath at the top and the bottom. Becomes one. One long circular breath. Now come on up with the arms behind. Take the bind, sink into triangle, Udita extended. Lengthen. Tiny bend in that front knee, stack the shoulders over it. Little bit of a crunch here.
And we'll come on up, reverse that triangle. Big windmill, lower hand goes to heart prayer again. Reaching back over that foot. And up, arms windmill in front, cross elbows over, bend the knee, extended side angle. Stack the shoulders, lengthen. Reach the arms up as you squeeze the elbows together. Now release the arms, come on up, take a reverse prayer. Turn to warrior two on the other side. Lean in, touch the elbow to the knee, exhale, float up to half moon. Crunch all the way up, half prayer, uh, reverse prayer. Slowly put that foot down, keep the hands where they are, rotate one foot in, one foot out, float up to the other side, inhale, exhale, float. Use that exhalation to engage your core, helps you lift, helps you balance. Bring the elbows behind you, turn the hips, turn the shoulders sideways. Standing like as a slight bend, make sure your standing foot is still facing straight down the mat, hasn't turned inwards. Now a slowly bend standing leg, step back, release into warrior one on the other side, turning to the front of the mat, swing up into warrior one, squaring up hips. Two lines of energy, one from the back heel to the hip flexors, another from the tailbone dropping down to the fingertips through the crown of the head, reaching up. A little bit of a crunch here. Opposite hand on the back leg, slides down the back leg, reach up and back for reverse warrior one. Sink into your front leg, breathe. Well, the calmer the mind is, the easier the balance is, the easier it is to maintain the posture. So you calm the mind by slowing the breath, calming the breath. The breath controls the brain, the brain controls the body. Uh, then I'm going to come on up, turn around in place, find warrior one on the other side. Sink in, lengthen, two lines of energy.
opposite hand on that back leg, slide down, lift up and back, reverse warrior one, sink into the front leg a bit more. From here, I swing that arm up, down into plank on the facing the back of the mat. Lower to Chaturanga for five, four, three, two, one plank again. Chaturanga, five, four, three, two, one plank. Last time, Chaturanga, shoulders back, ribs drawn in. Length in the spine, engage the core, flex the thighs. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Pull the ribs forward. Lengthen the abdominal wall. Clasp hands behind the back. Inhale, lift and press back. Exhale, low. Inhale, lift. Exhale, low. Inhale, lift. Exhale, low. Inhale, lift and hold and breathe here. Lift the ribs off the mat by pressing your hands back. Smooth out the breath. And release hands down. Chaturanga. Five, four, three, two. One plank, bend the knees, downward dog, walk it forward. Halfway up, flat back, facing the back of the mat still. Exhale, fold down, chin to chest, bend the knees a little bit, then walk it out in place. Bend left, bend right, keep your heels down. Bend both knees, come all the way up, squeeze your bum. Arms overhead, then exhale, palms to prayer. We're gonna step back and turn sideways with the other leg this time, right? So inhale up, exhale very slowly, step all the way to the back of the mat, open out sideways for warrior two on the first side. As soon as you get there, reverse it so we don't stop. As soon as you get there, straighten the leg and find triangle pose. Soon as your fingertips touch that ankle, come on up, reverse. Circle the top hand over and down in front of you, extended side angle. Circle that this top hand now up, half prayer with the other hand, inhale, float up to half moon, exhale. Soon as you get down there, warrior two, switch sides. Reverse warrior two on this side now. Straighten leg when you get there. Find your triangle. Inhale up, reverse, right? So you're taking it so slowly in the transition that you don't get there before me. So we keep moving. And from the reverse, arm in front, extended side angle. Press that knee open. Swing the top hand all the way up, open, come to half prayer. Inhale, exhale, float half moon. Soon as you get there, Slowly down, warrior two on the other side. Reverse, straighten leg, triangle. Reverse, triangle. Extended side angle, sorry, yes, extended side angle. Into half moon, one breath, one move, inhale. Float up, exhale. Slowly down, warrior two on the other side. Don't drop the foot, put it down. Reverse warrior two, straighten leg, triangle. Reverse triangle when you get there. Extended side angle when you get there. Half moon once you come on up, half prayer, knee inhale. 
exhale, float. Let's go one more time through all of those, slowly down, switch sides, warrior two. Reverse, straighten the leg, triangle. Reverse triangle when you get there. Extended side angle. Up, half moon. Slowly down, warrior two, other side. Reverse, straighten, triangle. Reverse, extended side angle. All the way up, half moon, inhaling, exhale, float. Slowly down, turn to warrior one on the other side, facing the front. Straight into reverse. Come on up, turn around in place, warrior one. Straight into the reverse. Now, turn around in place, windmill into revolved triangle. Pull into the twist, lengthen, hold for five. Four, three, two, one. Come on up, windmill into the other side. Down, lengthen, pull gently into the twist, hold, root the back heel down. Five, four, three, two, one. Bend the front knee, come on up. Let's find a warrior three, clasp hands behind the back. Inhale, lift, exhale, float up, warrior three. Hold here, five, four, three, two, one. Keep your hands where they are, slowly lower that foot. Turn around in place, inhale, exhale, float up to the other side. And hold here for five, four, three, two, one, drop that foot, release the hands, windmill to the other side, into revolved half moon, inhale. Exhale, float up. Add the twist. Lift the leg, lift the shoulder, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly down, straight to the other side. Big windmill, big inhale. Exhale, float, windmill. Hold and breathe. Lift that shoulder, lift your other side of your bum bum. Five, lengthen the leg. Four, three, two, one. Slowly down, warrior one on the other side. Swing around, straight into reverse warrior one. Don't get there before me. Up into revolve triangle. Windmill down, add the twist. Inhale up, arms overhead. Exhale, warrior three. Same side. Now slowly drop one hand, windmill the other into revolved half moon. And slowly down, turn around, warrior one. Reverse warrior one. Good, seek into the front leg, now straighten, revolved triangle here. Soon as you get there, come on up, swing arms overhead, inhale, exhale, warrior three. Straight into revolved half moon. Soon as you get there, put that back foot down, turn around, warrior one. Reverse warrior one. Up into revolve triangle. Up into warrior three. Never stopping. Straight into revolved half moon. Slowly down, turn around in place, warrior one, last time. Reverse warrior one, opposite hand on that leg. Come on up, or revolve top, or revolve triangle, sorry. Soon as you get there, then that knee, come on up, arms overhead, warrior three. 
soon as you get there, windmill into revolt half moon. Slowly put that foot down way back, turn sideways, make that hook over the front side of your mat. Other hand, palm facing forward, fingers out, snake creeps down all the way through. Up, down into Kandahasana, sinking into that one leg, fingertip, uh, little finger just brushes along the floor. One more, and we'll just go straight into the other side. So the hand that's pointing becomes a hook. Straight through, a hook on that side, other hand opens, sink down on that side, and here we go, other direction. Turn the toes out, make it easier. Snake creeps down. Fingertip, just brushing the floor, the edge of that middle finger. Let's do one more. Good, this time we skim the floor and we shift to plank. Hands at the front of the mat, straight through, stepping back, plank, chaturanga. Five, four, three, two, one. Plank, feet together, turn sideways, side plank, lift, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Feet together, chaturanga. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Plank up to the other side now. Lift the hips by pushing the hand forward away from your head. Five, four, three, two, one. Feet together, chaturanga. Plank, drop to hands and knees, take a spinal twist here. Inhale up, exhale, thread the needle. Shoulder to the floor, ear to the floor, top hand on the lower wrist, press that wrist away, straightening the arms, stacking the shoulders, use your breath now, use the rib cage to expand into the torso. And then release, come back to center, hands and knees, inhale, other side up. Exhale, drop shoulder, thread the needle. Keep the hip weight even on the knees as you press your lower arm away with your upper arm stacking the shoulders. And then I come back to hands and knees, plank to downward dog. Walk the hands wide, drinking dog pose, feet together, bend elbows, touch forehead down, hold for five, slight bend in the knees, four, three, two, one. Press back to down dog. Here we go again. Touch forehead down, hold for 10, nine, eight, breathe, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Press back. You can do this on your fingertips if it makes it easier. Last time, touch down and hold, drinking dog pose. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, zero, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, and minus five. Press back to downward dog, walk the hands back in, bend the knees, inhale, walk forward. Halfway up, and fold down, walk it out, bend left, bend right.
Yeah, let's bend both knees. Come all the way up. I'm going to turn sideways on my mat, make it easier for you to see me. I'm going to be feet about hip width. I'm going to play with something a little different now. Some of you have done this. We'll keep my palms in prayer. I'll take one knee, lift it, pointing my toes down across to the opposite corner, 45 degrees. Then I'll make a semicircle pointed at the other corner, 45 degrees, and then slowly put it down. We'll do the same thing on the other side, cross the leg, point the knee at the corner, over up in a semicircle to the other corner and put it down. So now we'll make that one move. Circle this knee, put it down. Circle this knee, put it down. Good. Now I'm going to straighten my leg, point my toes as I do it. Circle point, bend, put it down. Circle point, bend before I put it down. Let's do one more each side. Big circle with the foot, bend the knee, put it down. You don't want to drop the foot down, right? Point, bend. Now I'm going to continue that circle behind, cross my knees and sit down all the way over, stop, cross, sit down, press the palms out. So the goal with that is to swing that leg over, over the head, and then gently put it down on the floor, not drop onto it. Spring palms back to prayer. Come on up to the other side now. So feet parallel. All right, we'll go one time, circle, point, bend, put it down. Other side, circle, point, bend, put it down. Now, one circle, cross, and sit down. And this time we'll hook the fingers like the snake creeps down. Press the wrists out, pull the fingers back, body is upright. We're sitting on that back heel, body is upright. So press the wrists away, really curl the wrists in. Five fingertips touching each other. Now I'll scoop both hands, come on up. Cross my other knee behind and then sit down and take this prayer twist here. And we'll switch sides. So I come on up. Step parallel, just step behind through the easy version. Sit down, inhale, exhale, prayer twist. So this time when we come up, we'll go to the other side with a prayer twist. We'll use the kick, that circular kick, that crescent kick to get us there. So I come on up, I step parallel, now I circle, cross behind, sit down, prayer twist. Come on up, step parallel, big circle now, yeah? Kick it out, crescent kick, step behind, prayer twist as you sit down. Now we'll go to Gupta Parikatasana, hidden kick pose on the other side or dragon kick pose as it's called in Kung Fu. So step wide, kick it around, circle behind, sit down, put your hand on the floor and take that foot, kick it out. Last one coming up, that foot has to go over the head in that kick, ready? Take your time, come back to center, other leg, 
big circle, crosses the knee behind. Step down, sit, take the foot in hand, kick it out. From here, let's put that foot down, turn to the front of the mat, drop to your hands and knees, pointing your toes back, we'll sit back on the heels, come up right now, lean back, lift the knees, releasing anterior tibialis, posterior tibialis muscles, mainly anterior tibialis, your shin muscles. You can bring palms to prayer if you want, keeping the knees together. Then we'll drop the knees down. We'll bring the feet about hip width or so, tuck the toes under, and then roll back onto the heels, sit back into a squat. And we'll go through this a couple more times with each posture, right? So roll forward, gently put the knees down. Untuck the toes, lift up, squeeze knees together, lean back, slowly down, tuck the toes under as you lift up, roll back into a squat as soon as you get there. Roll forward, knees gently down, toes come up, point back, lean back, lift the knees as soon as you get there. Roll forward, tuck the toes, roll back into your squat, And then release, I'm going to come to hands and knees, cross my ankles, roll back and lie down. We'll find a bridge pose here. Sit for one Sarangasana. Feet are hip width, clasp hands, walk shoulders under. Start to press your hips towards your face. Press your chest towards your face. Press your hands down into the mat, keep the knees Squeezing gently together. Try not to collapse your knees open, dumping into the lower back. You could rest your hips on your palms if you want. And release down, cross left knee over right knee. Lift up the legs, drop them down to the right. Cross ankles, both shoulders down. Relax and breathe. Now let's release from that, come back to center, switch sides. Cross right over left, lift up legs, drop to the left, cross ankles.
back up to center, releasing. Hug left knee into chest. Keep the right leg down on the floor. Opposite hand on foot, kick it up, kick it across to the floor on the other side. Shift your bum back a few inches, lengthen through all the limbs. Release, bend knee, come to center. Hug right knee into chest. Keep the left leg down on the floor. Opposite hand on foot, kick it up, kick it across. Shift your bum back a few inches. Shoulders down, lengthen through the limb. Release foot, bend knee, come to center, hug both knees into chest. Keep your lower back down. If this is challenging, then cross your ankles. It'll allow the hips to open a bit more. Hands behind knees, kick the legs away, roll up to sitting. Find a comfortable sitting position, shoulders rolling down the spine. Lean back slightly, lengthen the neck, slow the breath, pay attention to the heartbeat.
when the mind wanders off, bring it back to the breath. And then we'll inhale arms all the way up overhead. Exhale to prayer. Thanks for joining me today. Asante sana.